Well, what's going on guys? Welcome back again. We are back in Long Drive and I just felt like playing something. Been a little stressful a couple less couple days and trying to get some real life stuff done. I figured I'd jump on here and check it what's up. What's this? What's this? Oh you can attach the meat to things? That's interesting. Yeah, let's attach it right there. Can we do that? Gee. Oh, that's cool. So we could just hang our meat off the front? I had no idea. That's cool. Now let's make sure we're on the right way. So right's on the lights on the right. I think that actually, let's shut this off for a second. That bus didn't have an engine, right? Uh oh. It had gas. Yes, yes. Okay, I remember. I remember. So we need to turn around and get the lights on the right? No, we need to stay this way. I'm sorry. I'm bad. My bad. Rights are on the light. Lights are on the right. That's what I mean to say. There we go. This engine's a little louder than the last one. There we go. Oh, some craziness going on out there. Banks collapse and people freaking losing their minds, losing all their money. Kind of a sad world out there right now. <clears throat> this is a strange world for me too. Uh, like the whole YouTube thing. I've, I've never, I don't understand why you guys give people money on their patrons and everything. And I'm uh, like, oh, you keep them making videos. I'll tell you something. You know, if you didn't give them that money, YouTube was going to give them money anyways. And they were going to make those videos anyways. And they're just holding you hostage. <laughs> and wasting your money. And usually, this is the thing. This is, this is the thing, okay? Hear me out. Hear me out. Don't change it yet. <laughs> Unless you disagree, you just can't stand me. That's fine. Change it. But kids nowadays, they're, they're very, very worried about their future. They're trying to figure out... How am I ever going to afford a house? How am I ever going to afford a car? Yada, 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 yada. Right? And then they go and take the only money they'll probably ever see, like real money, their parents' money, and they just piss it out the window. They literally piss it out the window. They donate to people on YouTube. They donate to charities that don't need your money. Uh, I won't say any specific charities, but we all know. Well, if you don't know, you should know. Charities are a scam, okay? Ooh, there's, there's something over there, but I don't know if I want to go over there. And there are a few that actually give the money to the people that they're supposed to, but 90% of them are just taking your money. And, like, when you see that little donate now thing on YouTube up on the side, let me tell you something. That's not one of the ones that's going to actually get the money to the people. That's one of the ones that's going to take 90% to pay themselves and keep the rest. And maybe I'm mistaken. Show me. If you got some evidence showing me the opposite, I will apologize if I'm wrong. But I just want to say that, you know, like, you kids want a house in the future? Save your freaking money, man. Stop pissing it out the window. And I know it's, it's just five bucks. It's just ten bucks. But how many times do you do it? How fast does it add up? Pretty soon it's just a couple hundred bucks, and then a couple thousand, and then a couple. <laughs> you get you get my point. I guess to be tens of thousands, and and then you've wasted ten thousand dollars giving it to somebody on YouTube, who is already getting paid to do what they're doing anyways. Like I get it. Everybody wants to be nice, and we all feel like we're doing something good when we donate. But I don't know. Maybe you see somebody in your neighborhood, a homeless guy. Go buy him a shirt. Go, you know what I mean? You don't want him to spend his money on booze, I'm sure, or whatever. Then buy him a sandwich. Buy him a, buy him a food card at Subway. I don't know. Example. Uh, I don't like Subway, but you get my point. Honestly, I'd probably just give... If I seen somebody homeless, I would donate to them. I would just literally... If I had some extra money, I would give them the extra money. 
And it doesn't matter what they do with that money. It's If you're helping, you gotta help for the right reasons, not for the reward back, right? Not for that sense of, I've done something good. And that's what the whole YouTube thing does, is it makes you feel like you've done something when really you've just kind of wasted your parents' money or your own money if you're an adult. <coughs> and I just, I, I don't, um, like our parents' parents always were really good at saving money and then our parents weren't as good at saving money and then we're at the point where most of us can't save money. And I, th I just want to say something about it. You know what I mean? Um, maybe money is going to be worth nothing in the future. And there's no point in saving money. But I think learning to conserve in general is a good thing. Like, everything's so over the top. Everything's such a waste these days. Not these days. I guess it's always been like that. But time to get some diesel, baby. Oh, that was the worst tip over ever. That's my opinion on the whole matter. Feel free to kick in if you want in the comments and tell me if I'm wrong or tell me if you think I'm right and you just agree. Maybe you're different. Maybe you're an exception and you can save your money. And you want to say, fish? Not everybody's like that. Some people actually do understand and they do try to help their parents. And See, I'm, I'm on the other side of the things. I'm a parent, so... You know, to me... Oh my god, I thought there was no things in here. To me, uh, like, I only see it one way, obviously. Oh, there we go. I'm one of those people, <laughs> I'm an adult, so, you know, I'm getting money wasted on things that just don't need it. Like, $12 monster drinks and crap like that, when it's literally, like, <sighs> a very hard position as a parent, because you don't want to give your kids crap, and you know if you give them the money, they're going to go buy crap and just slam it down their face. And then it's going to be your responsibility to try to help them to feel better after. It's got a dead-end street that you really don't want to be on, really. Hey, 99% diesel, look at us. That was a pretty good timing. We didn't have a ton of fuel left. Let's go see if we can find another one. Let's see what we got. Empty, empty, empty. Diesel. Alright, we'll take this one and we'll get going. We're pretty good on fuel again after that, I think. Might even get 100% diesel here instead of 1% of nothing for some reason. Imagine it's a glitch that they just never fix, but I don't know. So I was also told in the comments that the gas guzzler engine probably would have been a better engine for this, but uh, we're a little late on that. I don't think I'm going to be able to change it at this point. But thank you for letting us know, like always. I think I left my gas guzzler in a car a couple miles back, but... It's weird it was so hard to start this thing. Do a poop right in my chair. Oops. Alright. Oh, they're right there. The one guy was telling me that they should be right there. You got it, Lars. You were right, buddy. Just checking the durability of this car, don't worry. Alright, let's get her straight and get moving here, boys tell you what we need next we need some trailers to pull behind us see what's up at the stop there looks like we got a little more horsepower we're gonna have to top up the oil though
gonna spin her around for we're heading the right way. Oh, that dude's chasing me. What are you doing? Weirdo. Just gonna wander it off in the field. I don't know. Looks like it just kind of wandered off, I guess. Not sure what his issue was. Got it on my way. Some balancing things. Maybe that might help us driving. Gas, oil. Let's take that oil for we can top up our engine oil here. Nope. Where did that go? Just leave that there for we can just check it whenever it gets low. Alright. We don't need the gas so much since we have no gas guzzler and we have a bunch of gas already saved up. Have that meat there. Nothing else really around. Don't need the gas. What's in here? Oil. Try to take that with us too, but... I don't know if it'll survive. Alright, I think that's it. Have a look at back, I guess. Bumper, bed. Uh, nothing we really need, I don't think. Alrighty, Rue. Off we go. Now that diesel's purified a bit, it's definitely more horsepower. What the hell did we just hit? I think we just hit a ghost. There was literally nothing there. You seen that, right? I don't know. Let's just go. Screw it. So we just stopped somewhere, so there should be a stop for some, some time anyways. Uh... Uh-oh. So I think we're hitting ghosts now. I'm not exactly sure what why that's happening. Oh my god! Why is that happening? Let's... Oh my god, I found it. There's a tumbleweed. Keep in mind, guys, that's going to happen if you get a tumbleweed jammed under there. Alright. Now we're ready for that nightlife. We were working on that nightlife. Oh wait, night moves. Night moves. Trying to kill some awkward teenage blues. Alright, I'm done, sorry. Working on... Oh, now I got it in my head. I'll drive funny for a while, and maybe that'll be fun. Since we're not ghosting, that was pretty annoying. It really feels a lot better. Maybe that's been jammed under there for a while. I just never noticed. It feels so much smoother now. Emergency stop. It's weird how you gotta like shift her back in a gear after. I don't know why the gears get all messed up on you. That throttle climb, baby. 
What do the other dials do? Come on, tell me, Ford. Tell me, Lars. What do these do? Is that the time? What the hell's going on here? Maybe it is the time, actually. Kind of makes sense, I guess. Well, we're hauling a little bit faster now, anyways. Speeds right off the speedometer. That tumbleweed must have been jammed there a while because this thing feels so much better now. Starting to get to that point, it's hard to balance, but we're getting there. Let's just get some solid miles down here. And hey, if you if you didn't like my chat today, talking about finances and stuff, let me know. And if you did like it and you appreciate it and you get what I'm saying, let me know. Maybe you didn't listen. Maybe you missed the whole thing. I don't know. But I'll tell you one thing. You're never going to catch me on here with a uh, freaking patron or anything else. I don't expect you guys to pay me. Why the hell would you pay me? I'm not giving you anything. I'm giving you... I put up a video. It's your choice to watch it. You don't have to pay me for that crap. What the hell? <laughs> well, artists should get paid for their work. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, we're not artists. We're making freaking videos on YouTube. That's bull crap. I don't care what people say. I don't care if people are mad. That's the truth. I'm not freaking artists. I don't know, maybe maybe we are. Art, art is what? Just like any crap, basically. So, yeah, we're artists. Everybody's an artist. What's with that one star up there? Why is it so brown? Is that the sun or something? Freaking Mars? Whoa, whoa. Sweet. There's a little truck. I don't think we're going to take it unless you guys think we should. Maybe we'll stop here. I don't know. See how you guys feel about it. Little truck. Little house to explore there. Maybe I'll just stop here. I don't think I've gone that long, but maybe we'll just stop here just per se. And uh, we'll see what you guys say. If you want, I could take that other vehicle don't really want to take that truck but if you guys are into it maybe I'll pop in it and see what's up you ain't gonna never catch me up here looking for no donations or nothing like that you guys gotta save your money save it for yourself buy buy yourself a house one day don't be freaking wasting it on people bagging for your money on YouTube I know we all want to do good things and help each other and all that crap too. And I'm not trying to put you down or anything. I'm just saying. Chocolate bar. What the hell was that? My eyes are not working. <laughs> Alright. It's been a lonely ride. Let's take him along with us. You guys can tell me if you want me to take that new truck. We're making some progress. We're getting pretty far into the game. <laughs> so let me go to know what you guys want to do, and we'll go ahead and do that probably. Ooh, some snacks. No snacks. Poop. 
Nama nama nama. There we go. We're pretty much all prepped up for our next voyage. We'll go up and look on the roof, and I'll just wait here to see what you guys say about the vehicle thing. I think this is that the truck I'm in is probably the better choice, but again, I don't know that much about this game. Maybe I'm wrong. Looks like we got a brand new bike up here. There's no real fuel or anything, so let me know what you guys think. I guess the one thing we'd have to do is figure out fuel if we take this thing. We're going to have to dump the fuel, put new fuel in it, unless somehow it runs with that in it. Nope. Alright guys, let me know what you think, and thank you so much for hanging out with me. It's been a fun time, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.